Prostate cancer is a prevalent cancer among men. It has been estimated that one in seven men will have prostate cancer in his lifetime, but only one in 38 will ultimately die from this disease. This bears testament to the indolent nature of the disease. Majority of prostate cancer diagnosed are low risk and need not be treated. The result is a paradigm shift from radical therapy to individualized tailored treatment. A cornerstone of this individual-based risk stratification is the correct pre-treatment identification of true Gleason grades. For more than 25 years, transrectal ultrasound-guided biopsy has been the mainstay for diagnosis of prostate cancer. However, this technique is not without its limitations. The random nature means that it is subjected to sampling errors, not to mention the risk of sepsis via a transrectal route. Widespread biopsy of prostate in the era of PSA testing has given rise to over-detection of indolent disease while missing clinically significant disease. The challenge is to improve diagnosis and accurate risk stratification by improving prostate biopsy technique. Most risk classification systems rely heavily on Gleason scoring. Hence, accurate biopsy translates to appropriate risk classification, which in turn can guide the best treatment for patients. We have previously described our experience with the Mona Lisa, a novel robotic transperineal biopsy platform, the technique and outcomes of which have been reported. In the context of improving the accuracy of prostate biopsies, we now describe the MRI ultrasound fusion capability of the Mona Lisa and our early experience with MRI targeted prostate biopsy. The new technique begins with a multi-parametric MRI of the prostate which combines anatomic T2 weighted imaging with functional data. This has been shown to increase the detection of prostate cancer. A radiologist then reviews the MRI sequences and marks out suspicious lesions using a user-friendly interface, a process which typically takes about 15 minutes. Each lesion is accorded a PIRADS, which stands for Prostate Imaging Report and data system score. This mapping data is then saved in digital imaging and communications in medicine otherwise known as DICOM format to be utilized by the Mona Lisa on the day of biopsy. The PIRADS scoring has standardized the interpretation and reporting of multi-parametric MRI of the prostate and it provides a common language between radiologists and urologists. On the day of biopsy, patient is placed under general anesthesia and in a lithotomy position. A transrectal ultrasound of the prostate is performed and a 3D model of the prostate is first generated with the Mona Lisa. The marked lesions which have been saved as DICOM format are then imported into Mona Lisa. The MRI prostate model and that generated by real-time 3D ultrasound with the Mona Lisa at time of biopsy are then merged by non-linear regression to give a composite model. This allows the operator to see for the first time areas of suspicious tumor foci in the prostate. With an anatomical visual map, the biopsy is then planned with cores directed at the lesion as seen on the composite MRI ultrasound model in Mona Lisa. Targeted biopsies are planned and performed before saturation biopsies. After planning of the cause, the biopsies are then performed with the trajectory of the needle guided by the Mona Lisa. 